Hi, I'm Irving, and I'm still an Adamaniac. For new adventures of Batman! Last time, a criminal from Batmite's dimension named Zarbor had stolen all of Earth's nuclear power plants and taken them back to his world. He also left Batman and Robin at the mercy of their four greatest enemies, Joker, Penguin, Catwoman, and Clayface. But the villains have a problem. Zarbor also promised them a huge payday and then stiffed them. They're determined to fix that, so Batman and Robin will have to wait while they try to figure out which buttons on Zarbor's machine will send them after him. Well, I'm no sap. I'll follow him all the way to Ergo if I have to. I am going with you. Now, I don't like being double-crossed either. <laughs> I do not trust you guys. I am going too. I don't trust any of you. Count me in. I had a friend in Bible college who played pool in the most unusual way I ever saw. He wouldn't try to line up shots or figure out where the ball needed to go and how to get it there. He'd just blast the cue ball into the biggest cluster of balls he could find on the table. Every shot. I finally asked him about it, and he said, I figure the more balls I have rolling on the table, the more likely it is that something will fall in a pocket. These guys are taking the same approach to that machine. Push enough buttons, frobnicate enough knobs, and twiddle enough switches, and something's bound to happen eventually. Uh-oh. I think Clayface overdid it with that machine. Holy blown fuse. Terrific and try to find a repairman at this time of night. As I said, something is bound to happen eventually. Whether it's what you had in mind or not, that's a separate question. And Robin, I think that's the worst joke you've come up with yet. Did they sure have been gone a long time? Maybe Zarbers captured them and then they need my help. Nah, they're all right. They are in trouble. I can feel it in my bones. Hang in there, Cape Crusaders! Help is on the way! Yeah, we also left him guarding the car. At least that was what he called it when he realized he was terrified of Zarbor. But now worry has eclipsed fear. And we learned that he has bones. Hiya, Cape Crusaders! Uh-oh. Unless I'm mistaken, one of us is in big trouble. We're all in trouble, Batmite. Unless you can shut off that machine before it blows. They always forget that Batmite isn't in the same level of trouble that they are because he can poof away. But he's not going anywhere. He has a chance to save his friends. No sweat, guys. This is easier than one, two, three. Or maybe four, five, six. There you go. No more problems. No more worries. And no more Batman and Robin. Well, he fixed the machine, and it's not hard to figure out where they went. So this ergo dimension does have at least one place where corporeal beings can stand. I was wondering. Looks like a bad rendering of Mars. It's not Mars, it's Wacky Land. That explains a lot. Under the disguise, Batmite is really Gogo. Well, at least it seems peaceful here. But I doubt if it's going to stay that way. Once Sarbor puts his fiendish plan into action. Yipes! Robin! Hey! Let go! Put me down! Robin never did learn to keep his mouth shut. Come here, Chug. Coming, coming. Chug, I have a little job for you. Not again. Take this to the tip top of our climate dome and leave it there. Chug pretty well has no choice. He has barely enough energy to keep operating and Zarbor is his only source for getting more. Zarbor announces over a PA that he has solved the city's energy problem. And now, for the best part. Power! Oodle 
oodles and oodles of power. The oodles lasted just long enough for the power plant to slide off that round building and crash down onto Zarbor's place. Chug was hailed as a hero. The little bum's using our energy. What did you think he was going to do with all those power plants? Ha ha! Without paying us, our cut. Then why are we standing here? The quicker we find him, the quicker we collect. Sure, this city's only about the size of Minneapolis. Should find him in no time. Batman and Robin will find a better way to look for him. <laughs> In keeping with its name, the mono train gave them both mono. Chug, on the other hand, is enjoying the first good burst of energy he's had in who knows how long. Chug and the power plant were married the following week. My friends, all this power can be yours if, if you make me your new king. Otherwise... Chug went to the city, told them he was recently widowed and applied for benefits. When the officials learned the whole story, they denied his claim, saying, that's just too weird. The decision is yours. Make me your king or live forever in darkness, you have one hour to decide. Oh, you'll have a lot less time than that, Zarbor. They've seen his abilities, so I'm not sure what they think they're going to do to him. Yeah, we want what we've got coming, and we want it now. Of course I'll give you what you have coming. I have a sneaking suspicion that we may be looking at two very different definitions of that phrase. <laughs> oh, no, you don't, Zabor. A mirrored parasol. <laughs> Very clever. Looks like that mic drop was a little premature, Zabor. <laughs> oh, 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 watch that. Now you can watch a true genius at work. Who knows? You may even learn something. Back on Earth, Batmite has finally figured out that Batman and Robin are probably on Ergo. It's a lot easier for him to get there than it was for them. Uh oh! This is worse than I thought! Chug is heading for home, and since he's the only machine they've seen operating since they got here, Batman and Robin will follow him to Zarbor. <laughs> Robin, wait! Well, sort of. Robin is in the suit now, so Batman has to take to the rooftops to stay with him. Halt! You are under arrest! We have heard reports of Earthlings helping Zarbor, and now we have caught one. I'm having flashbacks to Inspector Gadget constantly chasing Brain. At least Robin is on the case. I will shortly be proclaimed ruler of all Ergo, and then I will decide the fate of you fools. I stand corrected. Robin is in the case, and his utility belt is in the trash. Now, tell us where we can find Zarbor. Believe me, I wish I knew. So there you are. Thank goodness I found you. Batmite, do you know this Earthling? Are you kidding, Commander? This is Batman. The Batman. Oh, I'm a dum-dum. Batman is getting a signal telling him where Robin is. Zarbor must have removed Robin's utility belt and set off the auto alarm. It's transmitting from that tower. For all the good the knowledge does us, he's still too powerful to take on, even with all of us. And there doesn't seem to be any way to stop him. By channeling the power from my nuclear plant into this warehouse of useless robots, I have an unbeatable army at my command. Plus, he has that. Now me, Zarbor, now me. I get a shot of that energy, too. Remember? Remember? Go away, Chug. I no longer have need for you. But, but, Zarbor, you promised. <laughs>
He also promised to pay the four villains and you saw how that turned out. Balls cue. Batman says, it's up to you, Batmite. You're the only one who can poof in there and turn the power off. Hey! No fair! Let me out of here! Never mind. No one escapes my traps, Batman! Ha! 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 Want to bet, Zarbor? What? How did you... I might have known. Any sentient creature can only take so much abuse, Zarbor. He poofs out of there before they can finish their speeches and actually do something. Chug reminds them that there's bats and cops out there, so everybody hop into the escape ship and let's get out of here. Quick, Robin, where's the main power switch? There, the yellow lever. Incidentally, I know about the mismatches between the video and audio. Something about the way these episodes rip from the DVD really messes with the alignment and I'm doing the best I can. Thanks for your patience. That might realize Zarbor went to Astroland, a huge amusement park that's been shut down because of the energy shortage. He's enlarged another power plant and the park is fully operational. And he's at the controls. The controls aren't working. <laughs> Neither is my heart. Not to worry, folks. Batman and Robin are on the job. <laughs> as much as it pains me to say this, Batman. Ooh, well done. Those four are wrapped up, though why Clayface doesn't turn into a mouse again and escape, I do not know. Can mice fly? Sure, just like monkeys. What do we do about Zarbor? He has powers you never dreamed of. And even if you caught him, you could never hold him. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yes we can. These special handcuffs will rob Zarbor of all his powers. All we have to do now is find him. And convince him to put those cuffs on, which may be a somewhat more challenging task. Batmite says, no worries, I'll find him. Let's go. <laughs> Anybody else care to challenge my powers? Well, he found him. Quick, get out of here before he shrinks you all. I have a better idea. Commander, we're going to need your handcuffs. Since they're the only thing that can deal with him, yeah, that's a good idea. Here I am, Zarbor. And I'm challenging your powers. You're an even bigger fool than I thought. But I'll soon change that. <laughs> Over here, Zarbor. You're making me very angry. That's the idea. When people get angry, they make mistakes. What? <laughs> like that. Batmite is restored. In fact, everything is restored except the nuclear power plants. They have to stay small so Batman can return them. But that leaves Ergo without any power. Too bad you didn't use your powers to help your people. He did help us, Batman. The moment he turned the power on, our scientists put the computers to work, and they were able to make blueprints of the nuclear plants. Our first plant should be completed within the week. I don't remember when we started calling it reverse engineering, and I didn't care enough to look it up. The important thing is, it worked. They'll have all the power they need, and so will Earth. Except with Zarbor powerless, how do we return them to normal size? <laughs> When did he gain that ability? One reason he knew it was Zarbor was because Zarbor was the only one who could do that. Maybe Zarbor accidentally passed it to him when he shrunk him. We have no idea how this stuff works in their dimension. We only know one thing for sure. The escape-proof cell they have Zarbor in will prove to be just as escape-proof as the steel room Batman and Robin were in. It all sounds like false advertising to me. 
I'm Irving, and I'm still an Adamaniac.